I met some neat people with neat products at the Aquatic Experience and I interviewed a couple of them. I wanted to share with you my favorites. It's all coming up right after this. You're watching Peck Tech, Tech on, on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> Hey YouTube, this is Peck Tech, and just a few weeks ago at the Aquatic Experience, I ran into some really cool people that had some really neat products. I really had a good time talking to all the different people. There's a lot of different kinds of products and stuff there, and uh, a bunch of stuff that I think you'll enjoy. So, without further ado, here's the interviews. All right, sir, could you introduce yourself? Hi, guys, uh, my name is Shargeel, and I work with Biopod. And uh, what can you tell me about this unique tank? All right, so Biopod was started about 20 years ago by our CEO, Jared. Uh, he created Biopod because he wanted to save endangered rainforest frogs in South America. And so the idea was to create an enclosure that can exactly replicate their habitat and basically bring it to your living home. The way it works is the biopod is a, it's, it's an all-in-one microhabitat. It has all the components you would need to set up your own enclosure. Now, I'm talking like heating system, uh, ventilation, irrigation, irrigation uh, aeration. Uh, it also has an integrated uh, misting system with uh, lights and uh, UV for reptiles. Um, it has integrated sensors and a camera. And all of that is uh, controlled through basically a central motherboard which uh, connects to Wi-Fi. So you're able to go on our Biopod app on your phone and change the settings to whatever you like, or you can put it into uh, automatic mode and have the Biopod set everything for you perfectly for whatever species you choose. About how much, how much water can you hold in the bottom? What's the volume? The volume uh, of water is about 10 gallons. About 10 gallons. Yeah, it's true. Uh, like what kind of what kind of plants do you have in the top here on the display? So the plants you see here, they're. Um, they're mostly just tropical plants up top here. So right here we have a lot of different ficus species, which are pinned in the back wall. On the left side we have some peperomia. These big plants you see here are called bromeliads, which are epiphytes. And uh, this is some Spanish moss with some other epiphytes uh, called talantias right over here. And uh, all these plants, they, they really flourish in a tropical setting. Right. So does water trickle from the back? It does. So the way it works is water that's uh, down here it's uh, pumped up, up to the back, and as it trickles down, uh, the moss and the plant roots and the plants themselves, what they do is they filter the water as it trickles down. So this cleans the water and it contributes back to the plant growth, and it's a bioactive filtration system. Where could we find one of these if we wanted to purchase yeah. one? So if you go to www.biopod.com, you can uh, put in your postal code and search for the nearest retail store uh, which carries Biopod. The average retail price for a bipod is about $500 US and uh, keep in mind you do get a free plant pack with that and we, we ship that directly to your home dropship. Well I'm not sure, is, what is, is this a moving bed filter? Reactor. Reactor? Media, media reactor. Dr. Tim's oh, okay, that's what's swirling in there? Small size, medium, large, and extra large. On the small and the medium, you have a choice of a top flow version or a side flow version. Right. The top flow has some flow adjustment at the top, okay? Uh, it, it's designed to fit in very small spaces, okay? All of our reactors come with Quiet One pumps. All of them sit on top of the Quiet One pump for, the, for a minimal footprint. Right. Um, they all come with two sponges, so you can use a GFO, um, activated carbon, or some other media within, you know, between the two sponges. Okay. Uh, or you can take the sponges out and put in uh, bio pellets. Uh, on the but it's a, is a biological. Explain to me what a media reactor is. It's, it's more fine. like targeted filtration. I mean, okay. you can if you use bio pellets, you can uh, remove nitrate. Okay. If you use GFO, you can remove phosphate. Right. Um, if you use activated carbon, you can remove dissolved organics. 
Anything else? Please talk to Dr. Tim. Right, right. <laughs> it's more like targeted filtration. It's like an independent filter. Uh, this one, the side flow version, uh, has flow control at the top here. Uh, you can you can adjust it so it it uh, stops the flow entirely or slowly open the valve to get the desired flow you want. So it has more precise flow control than the top. Right. Um, it's also quiet. The outlet is underwater. No splashing. Um, what aquarium, approximate aquarium sizes will these go for? The small 75 gallon aquarium, 150 gallon, 250 gallon, and 800. Okay. Wow. So really That's large capacity. This is the new Lifeguard Aquatics full view aquarium. We offer it in a seven gallon size or five gallon size. Uh, you have a choice of a built-in back filter shown here or a uh, submersible filter uh, uh, in either size. We sell them as kits. It comes with a 9000K LED full spectrum light, an algae scrub magnet, telescopic net, 100 watt preset heater, submersible LED thermometer. On the back filter, you have an adjustable uh, waterfall uh, overflow so you can adjust the level water level of the aquarium it's got a complete filtration system, system in the back two mechanical sponges ceramic biomate carbon uh, also even a sponge around the quiet one 400 pump uh, in addition on the inside we have an integrated airline system you can easily hook up uh, CO2 or an air stone or push it back if you don't want it. Uh, we even have a replaceable plug here you can replace with a strainer uh, to have some uh, suction near the bottom of the aquarium. Oh, so if you got options for where the water goes in, it's kind of a safety too, I guess, huh? Yes. And then, of course, the yeah. the biggest feature is the angled you know, front. It gives you about 20 degrees more viewing into the aquarium. Very cool. Thank you. Uh, my name is Matthew Grant. I'm with Printed Reefing Solutions. Uh, I do 3D printing for the aquarium hobby, both saltwater and freshwater. Um, kind of trying to be a little unique. Uh, my color spectrum is, uh, you know, unusual for the uh, market. My, uh, I was wondering if you were a ball. I'm from Tennessee. We really like the color orange. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I like the bright colors. It just kind of okay. stands out. You know, it's just a little uniqueness in the uh, in the uh, hobby. So. so tell me about your products. What kind of things do you make? Um, uh, we range anywhere from uh, you know moss ledges for freshwater shrimp, uh, corner HMF filters to the saltwater side. We do frag racks, uh, holders, line holders, probe holders. You know, a lot of accessory type stuff. Um, that, those organizational things that you, most people are looking for that can't find. Um, all my products are printed ABS um, and uh, saltwater safe. So. And you've got some that are magnetically attached too. Yeah, a lot of my products are uh, magnetically attached. I also have hanging versions uh, so that for uh, people in the hobby that don't want to go with the uh, magnetic versions. So did you start off making these things for yourself and then decide to, to sell them? Yeah, or? yeah so uh, starting out, it was uh, just a side thing. I had access to 3D printers and uh, was making some products for myself. Uh, I'm in a local club, uh, showed them off guys really liked them and they started uh, you know started wanting me to make them for them told me to start showing at the frag swaps and it's developed from there I've, I've had good reception where I go and um, you know I try to push quality on my products and make sure that uh, they're gonna last in your tank your environment so and it, it seems to be catching up so. so where would someone go if they wanted to purchase one of these uh, I got a full online website uh, it's www.printedreefingsolutions um, the full catalogs on there. Uh, I do frag swaps here and there, um, but the majority of sales are online. So. Very cool. Thank you so much for talking to me, man. Yeah, no, no problem. It's <laughs> a <just> pleasure. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> Scott, tell me about your booth here. Yeah, so we're in the Aquatech booth at Aquatic Experience. I'm here with my partner, Mark Vera. Say hi, Mark. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> 
and um, I think you came to see our beautiful dining room table. Yes, it is amazing. It's Thank a really you. amazing Thank piece. Is it concrete? Um, it's actually a GFRC, which is a concrete composite. It's glass fiber reinforced concrete. Right. So it's fairly lightweight, um, easy to move around. Mark and I can do it ourselves. He's a little stronger than I, so mine sort of tilts a little <laughs> Not bit. really, not really. <laughs> I'm the brawn, he's the brains. <laughs> right. <laughs> so the idea of the table was to get people that are normally not interested in aquariums interested in aquariums. Right. So we debuted this actually at the Chicago Flower and Garden Show a few years ago, and we felt, we saw people actually that normally, like I said, never even thought of having an aquarium, all of a sudden were aquarium, interested in having an aquarium. Right. So that's, that's amazing. That's the idea. So how is it filtered? So the filter is underneath. It's actually a hollow base. It's a sump base system. So the water overflows in the front, goes through filtration, and then gets pumped back into the table. It's on an SR Aquaristic remote control pump. And so what happens is we can control the uh, amount of water going over the zero edge. And I should also mention this was a collaboration with Zero Edge Aquarium. So uh, Mark and I designed the table and then uh, Zero Edge did the tank. And then we top it all off with a SR Aquaristic um, chandelier. And we have two different versions. We call them the Luminarium. And we have an aquarium version and a terrarium version. So this is the most beautiful aquatic dining room table. Um, we can turn it down, but normally it's a one watt LED and it's a 5,000 K daylight bulb so that um, we can keep the plants alive and growing. Um, we did the terrarium version so that you could hang them in a window and not worry about algae growing or anything. And we, we have some beautiful bettas in this for the show. Um, the other thing that's really cool about these is you can put a, a plant in it without a substrate or gravel in the bottom and it will cast the shadow of the plant onto the table. Oh, what a great idea. Yeah, it's really cool. I think Mark has one of these in his dining room. I do, I do. <laughs> the center point of the, uh, the entertaining of, the, of our house. What a great conversation piece when people come over and yeah. stuff. Hey. It's, it's not sushi. Yeah. You, can't, you can't eat the fish. It's, yeah. it's super fresh. Actually, yeah. usually when I have guests over, people want to feed the fish as they're eating their own dinner. Oh, is that a problem? <laughs> it is a little problem. I have to keep a can of fish food at the table in order to make sure that they feed the appropriate food. <laughs> So how difficult is it to maintain? It's, it's really easy. Um, it, you know, if you look at the size of the aquarium compared to the amount of filtration, um, there's a lot of filtration for this small amount. Um, we like to use a lot of live plants in it to keep them growing. We're using Anubias in here, which is a really easy low light plant. Yeah. And so the plants also have um, a role in filtering the water and um, it's, it's fairly, fairly easy. Can you actually buy these? Yes, we, we sell them. Um, they're sort of on a limited production run. I think we have, what, four left in stock. Um, we sell them for $5,000, and that includes the filtration, the tank, um, just not the chairs. Where could you find this? Um, you can go to our website. It's www.sraquaristic.com. Let me... Right there. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for talking to me. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Yeah, I gotta say, that's the coolest thing about being at the Aquatic Experience is being able to meet people like that and, and see these kind of different things that are happening in the industry. It's it's really neat. Now, aquariums really don't change a lot. Like, there, are, there haven't been huge, huge differences from year to year. It seems like these things are real incremental and stuff. So I've noticed a lot of aquariums and stuff that I display keep their current model for years and years and years. So I'm always excited to go to a show where vendors like flock to show you what the, this new stuff no one's seen before. Or maybe you don't have a store that's quite that extensive that could show this sort of thing. Anyway, I had a lot of fun meeting all those people. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching them too. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, follow your bliss, keep a clean tank, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey guys, today we take a look. Hey guys, today we take a. Hey guys, today we take a look at. A... I want to take you on a tour of some really cool products. That's oh, background. Hey YouTube, this is. Okay. Falling down.